Open the Enlight Glucose Sensor Package. Remove the sensor from the package by holding the plastic pedestal. Do not hold it by the sensor or needle housing, as this could damage the sensor. Place the sensor with pedestal on a clean, flat surface, such as a table. Hold the sorter so the green button is lined up with the arms of the pedestal. Carefully, push the sorter down onto the sensor and pedestal until the base of the sorter sits flat on the table. Do not push the sorter too hard onto the sensor, as this might cause the sensor to load improperly. To detach the pedestal from the sensor, place two fingers on the pedestal arms, holding it in place, and slowly pull the sorter straight up. Do not detach the pedestal in mid-air. Doing so might damage the sensor. After the pedestal is detached, the sensor remains inside the sorter. This step also removes the paper backing from the sensor. Place the base of the sorter flat against the site that you prepared. To insert the Enlight sensor, gently press the small bump on the green button and then release it in one motion. Once you release the green button, the sensor automatically inserts. You may hear a slight click after releasing the green button. Important! Do not pull the sorter away from your skin yet. Keeping the sorter flat against your skin, wait at least 5 seconds to allow time for the adhesive to stick. Remember, you only need to gently place the sorter against your skin. Be careful not to apply too much pressure. Then, press the small bump on the green button in a second time and continue to hold it in while you slowly pull the sorter away from your skin. With one hand, gently hold the sensor by placing one finger on the front of the sensor and one finger on the sensor connector to ensure your glucose sensor stays in place. Be sure you do not hold or pinch the sides of the sensor. With the other hand, hold the needle housing at the tip and slowly pull straight out away from the sensor. The needle automatically retracts inside the plastic needle housing. Discard the entire piece into a sharps container. Note. If bleeding occurs at your insertion site, apply steady pressure using sterile gauze or a clean cloth for up to three minutes. Carefully, remove the paper backing that is located underneath the curved adhesive pad. Press the adhesive against the skin. Now, flip the adhesive tab so that it lies flat against the skin, but do not remove the paper backing just yet. 